So. Come on. Oh, Chester. Hmm. I'll get it out of there. Hello, uh, women, wifters. Um, I've worked with the recipient of this year's producer award for about 10 years. Um, I spent the first two years being completely terrified of her and the next eight being completely in awe of her. Uh, in the last year alone, she has produced the television, for television, Rev, Him and Her, and Friday Night Dinner, and the film Scott Pilgrim, Joe Cornish's Attack the Block, and my new film Paul, which is out on February 14th. Um, <laughs> all this while running her hugely successful company, Big Talk, and being a devoted mother and partner. She is tireless in her pursuit of original and groundbreaking comedy, and in my opinion, she's a very rare thing in a producer. Not only um, does she deal with the everyday nuts and bolts of production superbly, creatively she is a force to be reckoned with. Um, without her, Simon Pegg, Edgar Wright and myself would be no more than massively talented but woefully directionless <laughs> children. Um, without her passion and her drive for perfection, I believe we would be nothing. Uh, the winner of this year's Producer Award is Naira Park. Thank you. Um, thank you so much for this award. It's absolutely brilliant because it comes from people that I really respect and admire. Um, I set Big Talk up in uh, 1995 with Keith Allen after we'd worked at the comic strip for six years and we literally had no idea what we were doing. Uh, we found a one-room office and Keith and his dad built a bar all the way down one side of it. Um, Keith's argument was that even if we had no work, we'd have somewhere to hang out with our writer, uh, director, performer friends, have a drink and hopefully come up with some brilliant ideas. I was totally uh, disapproving of this. Um, <laughs> But actually, it was a really great thing to do, and it became known as the uh, Big Talk Bar and Grill. And um, soon, talented strays um, became drinking partners, became friends, became great working relationships. And it made me realize that the trust and respect of friendship um, is the best foundation for great work. Um, we don't have a bar at Big Talk today. Um, it's a shame. It's a huge shame. <laughs> Um, and uh, we, we've gone from, and we have got, um, thankfully, quite a bit of work at the moment, um, and we've gone from being two people in an attic to, um, this year, 20 people in a proper office. But um, most importantly, the vibe remains the same. I'd like to thank Amanda Posey, who uh, finally gave me a job at the comic strip after receiving 30 begging letters, all addressed, uh, Dear Amanda Foley. Um, uh, Cheryl Taylor and Caroline Leddy, who, while they're at Channel 4, gave me um, my break and trusted me to produce Black Books and Space, which was really the beginning of everything. Uh, Natasha Wharton, um, Ronaldo Vasconcelos, our line producer, who really is an inspiration. Um, everyone at Working Title, they're in my extended family, um, particularly Eric Fellner, uh, Tessa Ross, Tanya Sagachian, um, everyone at Optum Studio Canal and BBC Worldwide for continuing to trust in our taste and for supporting us. My amazing business partners, Matthew Justice and Kenton Allen, um, without whom Big Talk in its current form would not exist, and my incredible colleagues there, uh, particularly my great friend and producing partner on Attack the Block, Jim Wilson, uh, my awesome assistant, Celia, who is literally the coolest woman I know, and most importantly, Simon, Nick, Edgar, Karen, uh, my, my they are my best friends and um, we've worked together actually for 12 years, I think, and uh, I feel very grateful. Um, I really believe that it's because of organisations like Women in Film and TV that women are more respected, more recognised in the industry today. 
Um, when I was 22 and I'd been working at the comic strip for two weeks, there was an urgent call from set. They needed the uh, new runner, me, to get to set as quickly as possible. Um, so I jumped in a cab. I was incredibly... I felt like this, my moment had arrived. And I got there to find that the actress who was playing the part of the stripper hadn't turned up. <laughs> and, um, before I knew it, it's true, um, I found myself sitting on Rick Mel's lap in my bra and knickers <laughs> and um, Peter Richardson was calling action but um, thankfully Dawn French was on set and she wrapped me up in a, in a toweling robe and, and she rescued me. So I would like to thank all those women um, who, like Dawn, have helped um, others and all those brilliant women and men who have helped me because I wouldn't be here without you. Thank you. Oh.